Hello guys, back again with the Orasta channel, and this time, as always, we will be back to talk about the best Donghua series, and of course, it is Swallowed Star. In the previous section, we saw the battle between Luo Feng and the Imperial team, which was then headed by a warrior named Goose, or Gai Shai. Although he could not make him die in the fight, at least Luo Feng had taught him a little lesson. Right after the battle, there was also the phenomenon of the appearance of a border door portal, which was the entrance to the world within the world. It was a deep world that held a lot of treasures, such as cosmic crystals, in large quantities. After discovering this fact, many large organizations from the Black Dragon Mountain Empire began to make movements. The emergence of the world within the world will certainly be the beginning of a major battle between the major organizations within the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. Then what is the next story? Okay, Without further delay, we will go straight to the storyline. While exploring the world within the world, Luo Feng thought that now he didn't have much money left, maybe about 5 billion Gyanwu coins. As for being able to evolve his golden horn body to the cosmic level, Luo Feng still needed a lot of money, which would be used to buy combination metals, which were none other than the golden horn's food. That was why Luo Feng felt that he had to get the Cosmic Crystal, which was said to be more valuable when compared to a pile of Ganwu currency coins. Moreover, the Nolan family was also about to arrive on Earth, so there was no other reason for him not to bring back Cosmic Crystals from this world. After arriving at the location specified by Babata, Ago then used the Red Copper Shard to dig the ground. This was because the Cosmic Crystal that Babata had detected was deep underground, Meanwhile, elsewhere, Ming Yu, who realized that the current situation was the only chance for the people of the Black Dragon Mountain Emperor to obtain abundant treasures, asked Chang Bo for permission to go to the world within the world. Before agreeing to Ming Yu's request, Chang Bo reminded him that this place was where the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance testing was conducted in order to screen for valuable talents. And as a member of the Virtual Universe company that cooperated with the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance, naturally, Chang Bo did not allow his members to carry out treasure retrieval. But in this case, Chang Bo would allow Ming Yu to leave because he felt that it would be impossible for him to obstruct his goal, but under the condition that Ming Yu must move without carrying the name of the Virtual Universe company. After getting permission from Chang Bo, Ming Yu immediately set off for the test site. We return to Luo Feng and the team, who continue to dig until they finally arrive at a cave and are immediately confronted with a large cosmic crystal like a giant pillar. After seeing it, Babada was very happy because the size of the cosmic crystal found this time was about 3,000 square meters. Just one square of cosmic crystal can be directly made into 1,000 cosmic coins. And these cosmic coins were said to be more expensive when compared to the coin currency Luo Feng had known where one cosmic coin alone could be exchanged for 3,000 Ganu coins, which meant that the large chunk of cosmic crystal they had found this time was equivalent to 10 billion Ganyu coins. And if he managed to bring it home, obviously the development of the Golden Horn body could be raised by leaps and bounds. Along with that, Gao Sheng suddenly made a call to confirm whether it was true that Luo Feng was entering the world within the world at the Cosmic Army exam session, and Lu Feng confirmed it. Gao Sheng, as a kind-hearted colleague this time, wanted to give an update on the current situation. He said that the big news had already spread to all parts of Black Dragon Mountain's rough area, and currently, the strong warriors from various organizations were already on their way to Planet Changlin, the place where the assessment test was held. Besides universe-level warriors, there were also warriors who had reached the Sector Lord level. That was why Gao Sheng here advised Luo Feng to find a safe location immediately. Because if not, then both the treasure he had obtained and his life would come to an end. Next, we move to the ninth princess of the Black Dragon Mountain Chaos, as Gai Shi is here to report that he has just found the center of the treasure trove. And since he's 100% recovered, he asks the princess for permission to investigate further. <laughs> Because the princess was silent, Qiu Yu said that he was willing to bring a group from the White Tiger Tower organization to help the princess get the treasure or seize it from others. Instead, 
For the sake of good cooperation between the two parties, Kyu's proposal was approved by the princess. But for now, Kyu must first return to the White Tiger organization to get permission from them. Because after that, the princess will make arrangements about what they will do next. The princess agreed to the cooperation because she realized that the central area with many treasures would definitely be a very intense battlefield. So the more people, the better. She also hoped that the grandfather would immediately provide assistance, because with the grandfather's help, they could get an absolute victory. Just now, the talk appeared because, at the same time, the princess here received a call from the grandfather. Here the grandfather said that he was already on his way to the planet Changlin, as well as he asked the situation that was happening in the world in the world to his granddaughter. The princess haughtily said that until now, her subordinate aunts were struggling to get treasures. But if she could get help from her grandfather, then it was certain that all the treasures in the world would fall into the hands of the Black Dragon Mountain Emperor, which showed that the princess's grandfather was not a random person. Moving towards the entrance portal of the assessment exam, the situation at the venue was now tense, as people from various organizations had now set foot there. But it seemed that G. King and a few of his members did not allow all of them to force their way in and intervene in the exam being conducted. Moreover, those people were already at star level and above, they were not allowed to enter there. Trying to put up a fight, one of the White Tiger organizations said that if the border gate inside the Thunder World was now open, this assessment exam should no longer be worth continuing, and G. King was asked to let them all in. Not afraid of the warrior's words, G. King said that the rules were the rules, and they were now not allowed to enter in the middle of the test being held. What's more, the warrior was also at the universe level. Giving a little warning, the White Tiger Tower released a little of its power that was able to shake the surrounding area. Along with that, it also moved quickly to unleash an attack on Ji King. But before the hard fist landed, Ming Yu appeared from another direction and stopped the opponent's fist by using his mental strength. <laughs> Ming Yu didn't expect that there would be someone who would act so boldly towards a member of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance. Showing a bit of his skill, Ming Yu flew over the opponent's body and slammed it towards the surface, as well as restricting its movement by using metal road materials. And that happened right beside Nolan Shan, who was also there because he was part of the White Tiger Tower organization. Ming Yu slowly began to move towards Ji King and then asked if he now wanted to confirm whether Ji King was speaking to him as a member of the Virtual Universe Company or as a member of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance. And firmly, the woman also said that she was now addressing her senior Ming Yu as a member of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance. And now she was not under the orders of the Virtual Universe Company. Of course, to be fair, here Ji King specifically appeared as an envoy of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance who would never allow outsiders to interfere with the grading test session. Just as Ming Yu would not be allowed to enter, although there was a relationship between the two of them, it only applied when both of them were performing duties as members of the Virtual Universe Company. Since that was the case, here Ming Yu would use his status as a member of Three Axe Mountain, one of the five great organizations of the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. He would enter the Thunder World under the pretense of checking on the situation, and he had obtained the order from one of the three great dignified commanders of the Three Axe Mountain organization. And of course, according to the already set rules, Ji King wouldn't let Ming Yu into it because Ming Yu's level already exceeded the specified threshold. Of course, everyone there was aware that they couldn't be too bold against Ji King, who was the envoy of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance. This fact made Nolan Shen feel that he would never be able to meet the opportunity to finish off Luo Feng, who was in the test. At the same time, from the air came the sound of laughter, along with the presence of power that was able to exert great pressure on a warrior who was already at the level of the level of the universe. Such great pressure can only be released by a warrior who has reached the Sector Lord level. And he was now present with the intention to intervene in the middle of the assessment test, walking proudly and radiating the power of ice all around him. The figure said that if he didn't think the orders of the Three Axes organization's three dignified commanders had been stopped by a little girl, Ming Yu should have been embarrassed by the situation he was in. And it turned out that he, 
who was already at the Sector Lord level, was the princess's grandfather, who came from the Black Dragon Mountain Empire named Hargrave. Hargrave's appearance instantly attracted the attention of the warriors who were there. But still, even though the old man was a figure of great influence in the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, G-King still wouldn't allow him to enter the middle of the test and told him to stop stepping. This woman truly had great courage. Slightly intimidating by drawing out his ice power, the old man asked if G-King didn't know who he was. Of course, G-King could immediately tell with just a glance that this old man was a Hargrave, one of the top three warriors of the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. Although G-King knew that Hargrave's status was quite high, G-King would continue to abide by the rules, where he would never let those who were already above the star level into the test. While G-King was explaining the rules, Hargrave, who still continued to make threats, unleashed his ice power, which was seen slowly starting to cover part of G-King's body. With confidence, G-King said that if she was going to record all the events in this place and report them to the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance, she didn't care who it was. If he dared to mess up in the exam, then that person would immediately become the target of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance. Although her body was now almost completely covered by ice, looking into G-King's eyes, absolutely no fear could be seen in her. It was really very brave. At that moment, one of the warriors said that the people of the Empire seemed to be bullying. But the warrior was immediately silenced by Hargrave's ice attack that was being talked about from behind. <laughs> Shortly after, Ming Yu laughed happily and said, it's a pity that a dignified person from the Black Dragon Mountain Empire is currently being stopped by a little girl. That was the sentence Ming Yu said to reply to Hargrave's previous words. The old man also intended to make an attack on Ming Yu, which made the old man upset. But at the same time, the power of thunder appeared from the sky, a power that could match Hargrave, and he was also already at the Sector Lord level. This figure who came down from the sky said, why was Hargrave? who was angry at that time, taking his anger out on Junior Ming Yu? And of course, that figure was the one who had sent Ming Yu before, one of the top three of the Three Axes Mountain organization, and his name was Jiang Tianchen. Although the figure that appeared before him, this time was on the same level as Hargrave, the old man would not allow the opposing party to seize all the treasures contained in the world within the world. The two great forces that appeared were seen to be in each other's presence and caused parts of the planet Changlin to be covered in ice. The other part was filled with yellow lightning and thunder. Here, Nolan could only remain silent as he witnessed the tremendous power being displayed by the strong men who were several levels above him. He realized there would be nothing he could possibly do if the fight between the two sides broke out. Before that horrible thing actually happened, Ming Yu told everyone that he had a solution for all the warriors that should allow them all to equally obtain the treasures found in the world within the world, without having to make them all the targets of the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance, of course. Hmm. <laughs> so what is it? Before that, we will return to Luo Feng's side first, who is still continuing his journey while mining cosmic crystals, and until now, his team had managed to collect a total of 180,000 cubic meters of cosmic crystals. If converted into Ganwu currency, then Luo Feng and his team would have earned 700 billion Ganwu. The Thunder God was afraid that if they all eventually had to meet a figure above the universe level, then their history would be over. But according to Hong, there was something strange about this. Gao Sheng had previously said that a large organization had started making moves, 
But until now, why hadn't a single strong person appeared there? Getting a call, Luo Feng then asked his team for permission to enter the virtual universe for a while. And it turned out that the person who called Luo Feng was none other than Ming Yu, who intended to inform Luo Feng about the current situation. From the video shown by Ming Yu here, Luo Feng could see the figures of the two sector lords who were right in front of the exam entrance. But the two of them did not enter into it. This was because it was a rule set by the Cosmic Mercenary Alliance that those above the star level were not allowed to enter the Thunderworld. That was why here the big shots of the organization were meeting. In the meeting that was held, an agreement was finally reached. The major organizations would each send down a number of fighters who were at the ninth level star level to the world within the world. Among them were the Black Dragon Mountain Martial Organization sending 600,000 star fighters, the White Tiger Tower sending 300,000 people, the Black Cloud Alliance sending 300,000 people, the Northern Dragon City sending 300,000 people, and Three Axe Mountains sending 300,000 people, as well as several large families outside the organization sending 160,000 people. The total number of fighters that would soon enter the world was 2 million ninth level starfighters. It was absolutely crazy. Although none of them were at the universe level, 2 million people was still a very frightening number. Especially for Luo Feng's team, which wasn't affiliated with any organization at the moment. And obviously, if Luo Feng wanted to continue exploring, there was little chance for him to survive. In addition, considering Luo Feng also had a conflict with the Nolan family, among the two million fighters, there were also people from the Nolan family. So the situation will be even more dangerous for Luo Feng. Then, what will he do to get out of the world of thunder in one piece? To find out, stay tuned for the continuation next week. Because of Swallowed Star, this episode must end, guys. Okay, thanks to those of you who have watched until the last minute. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Final word from me, bye.